Alright guys, Lucas Clones here, checking in with a quick video. Um, I had a request on my Instagram to just do a really quick video about how I painted my rifles. And um, I got my M4, it's a KWA CQR Mod 1. And it has a Classic Army uh, short M203 grenade launcher on it. And a Magpul MOE um, stock. And uh, I just um, got some paint. I kind of followed a video by the Desert Fox on, uh, also on YouTube. Um, he's a great, really cool airsofter. And he posted a video about how to paint your airsoft helmet. And he used just some netting that you can get for like the laundry, like a laundry hamper. This is actually sort of like a netting shelf that I've been using. Um, this was just like to put your stuffed animals up. But you see it's got this really cool diamond shaped pattern here and that's how I get this what they call snake skin pattern. And all I really did was I first sprayed a base coat down of half of this tan and half of this green, kind of like an olive drab green. This is like a desert tan. These are the Rust-Oleum camouflage col colors and they are non-reflective finish. They're ultra flat, which is really, really important. You don't want to have a shiny gun. You want to have a flat um, color for your camouflage, obviously, because if it's shiny, it defeats the purpose of the camouflage. And you're going to want to have some painter's tape. Um, for instance, here, I put in a piece of tape inside my hop-up so that it wouldn't paint wouldn't get inside my hop-up. And I put a piece of tape over my battery connection and then once you get the the two-tone base coat down all you do is you kind of you drape this thing over the rifle and what's important is that you kind of need to make the netting close to the rifle if it's too far away you're going to lose the pattern because the, the spray paint will spread back out again and then you just kind of go through and and do opposite colors you would do a green diamond pattern on top of a tan ground and you would do a tan diamond pattern over the green ground to get this two-tone snakeskin camouflage. You can see like here's where I did green and I did tan snakeskin and then here's tan and I did green. And you just keep doing that until you get the entire rifle the way you want it. If you mess up you can just repaint it and redo it again. Like a lot of times the, the diamond pattern doesn't show up because maybe your netting is too far away or you spray too much paint on. Kind of just kind of have to get a feel for it. And then once you're all done, you want to take some sort of a sealer. I use this matte finish because it's flat, you know, matte color, not shiny. And it goes over the um, paint and it protects it. This paint will scratch off a little bit, but I actually kind of like that. I like when it uh, scratches off because it looks like it's... They call it in country look or in the field or whatever. I think it looks cool. And it's good because I actually painted over my G.I. Joe stickers here. Now I'm just going to take a flathead screwdriver and, and carefully scrape off the paint so you can see my stickers again. But that's it. That's my tutorial and uh, I hope this helps somebody. I'm not an expert at this. I'm kind of new to it. But um, I hope it helps somebody out. And until then, this is Lucas Clone. See you later.